Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and we are back again today. We're going to do another brand new Code Blocks lesson. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So, we're going to click on New Design. As soon as it loads, click the top, and we're going to make a spaceship, and we're going to name it with our initials, minor MDH. Make sure you put yours. The first thing we have to do is create a new object. So drag the object out, and we want to rename it. We are going to make the body of a spaceship, so we're going to type body and drop it in. I want the body of my spaceship to be created with a sphere shape. When you bring out the sphere, click on its properties, and we are going to tell it to be size 20. Pick a color that you think is going to be cool for your spaceship. I'm going to do gray. And when you hit play, you can see it draws over here. You can right click drag to look at it from every angle. You can also just click the cube to see it from the different angles. I'm going to stay on this front because it shows me that my project is below zero. I'm going to take this shape and make it look more like a spaceship by doing modify. And we're going to do scale. We're going to keep X and Y but we're gonna change Z to 0.25. Make sure you type 0.25 or it'll get huge. When you hit play, you'll actually get to see it animate. So that is what our spaceship is gonna look like. You'll notice that in code blocks, it always draws from zero, zero, so half is below. So we're just gonna do move, and remember it is 1 fourth of 20, which is five, so we're gonna raise it up five. When you hit play, boom, it is at zero level right now. We want to cut out a place for people to sit. We're going to do that with the shapes. Bring out a cylinder, drop it underneath, make it a hole. If you hit play, you'll be able to see where that cylinder landed. Right now it's small, so we're going to change the properties to 15. And we're going to change the height to 5. And when you hit play, you'll see it show up, and it won't be at the right Z. So we'll do that move again to raise it up. Remember we made it five, so let's raise it up eight. When you hit play, it'll be above zero and poking out of our ship a little bit. At this point, hit the cool group command because this is a hole and this is a shape and we just hit group, bam. You just created a sweet little spaceship. We're gonna build our next part, but we're gonna hide this for a moment. We're going to put a temporary Z here, and we're going to put 200, and that way it'll be up in the sky and out of our way. If you zoom out, there it is, but we're going to be working down here. We're going to create another new object. This is going to be called the engine. So hit rename variable and type engine and tell it OK. When you bring in the engine, let's go to shapes, and we're going to find the sweet paraboloid. When you attach the paraboloid, I want you to change the radius to 5, and I want you to change the height to 7. If you hit play, those objects will all draw. To make it faster, from now on, let's have the speed on fast. There's our paraboloid. We want to add a second one. Watch this. You can right-click and duplicate. We want the second one, though, to be 3 and 5. So it's going to be smaller, and we want it to be a hole. We are also going to move it down a couple. I'll let you see it happen first. When we hit play, you can see right now they overlap. That hole is poking out. We're going to change that by bringing out another modify and a move, and we want this one to be lower. So we're going to do Z of negative 2. I'm going to do shift drag so I can see the bottom of that better. And those two parts are together, but they need to be grouped. When we hit play, everything draws fast, and check it out. We have got a sweet little engine. Our spaceship is going to fly horizontally, so let's add a rotate. Let's add the rotate and put the zero, 0 in here. And if we hit play and rotate around X, you can see that that engine is now aimed for when we're going to use it. We'll put it at the correct location later. Right now, let's simply do the same trick where we move it out of the way, modify, move, and let's put this at 150. So it's also up out of the way for our next part to be built. So we've got a body, and we've got an engine. Let's make sure we create another new object, and we're going to call it the light. When you rename it, type light. 
and we're going to make our headlight with a cylinder. When you bring your cylinder out, I'm going to first make it headlight color, which I'm going to say is yellow. I'm going to give it a radius of 2. I'm going to give it a height of 4. I'm going to give it an edge of 1, and I'm going to do 5 for the edge steps. When you hit play, this will all draw nice and quick. There is our cute little headlight shape. We're going to do modify and rotate it so that it's aimed the right way. Once again, find the math, drop the zero, zero, hit play, and that is a pretty sweet little headlight. Now that we've got all our parts, I'm going to slide these over a little bit out of my way. All right, friends, now that we've got everything arranged, our parts hidden, you can right click out here and do collapse blocks. This makes them a little smaller and I'm going to stack them up here so it goes first, second, third with each one being lower and now we can build our spaceship. When I hit create object, I'm making sure it's below these and I'm going to rename this one as SS for spaceship. In the spaceship, I'm going to add copies of objects. The first object we're going to use is the body. So we need to go down to data and bring out that body we created. Before we can start building, we need to throw out these moves. So I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to delete that one. So now the parts will stack on top of each other. So when I bring in this body, I'm going to start by being smart and putting it above the old one. So I'm going to do a Z of 20. When I hit play, the project draws, and there's the new body. Right click and duplicate that. But when you add it, we don't want the body anymore. Throw the body away, and this time we're going to add one of the lights. When you bring out your light, remember you click on data and just drop that variable in. The light would be in the middle, so we're going to change this Y to something silly. We're going to do negative 25 at first, so it's out here towards the front of the work plane. When we hit play, you can see there is the headlight. If we look at it from the side, see how far out in front it is? Let's back that up and try negative 19 and see if we like that better. I'm going to zoom in with the wheel and I need to raise it up. So you're just trying numbers until you find the right combination. It draws pretty quick. So you can quickly find the exact spot where you want your headlight. I like that, but instead of X of 0, I'm going to do an X of 10. Notice it moves to this side. I am going to decide that's too far, so I'm going to do an X of 8. And then I'm going to change my Y, because it's not really connected, to negative 17. So it's a guess and check to get your perfect numbers. That I like. I am going to duplicate the light, drop it below, and if one is at positive 8, the other is at negative 8. Hit play, and you've instantly got sweet headlights. Duplicate that light, and we're going to do an engine. So throw that light out, find your variables, and drop the engine in. If we hit play, the engine will be in the front, which is silly. So we're going to change that by instead of negative 17, let's make it a positive 20. And let's spin around and take a look. That's pretty decent. Friends, all you do is duplicate and change the negative to a positive. When you hit play, you've got an instant fun spaceship. I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to make it a group. If you've seen my other spaceship, we had a bubble on top that was transparent. We can't do transparent in code blocks, so that's why we're skipping that. If you wanted to add chairs, you could create a new object called chair up here and use it. But we're going to stop at this point, and we're going to make ours move. The move is pretty sweet. I want you to bring out the count with. Underneath your group, you've got count with I. We said we were going to move, and then we are going to change the height. Because we've got this variable i, we can do it in a real fancy way, though. Bring out your math, and we're going to keep it as plus, and we're going to do the variable i, which the first time is going to be 1, the second time is 2, the second time is 3, and we're going to add 10 each time. So it's i plus 10, 
and then grab that chunk of math and drop it in the Z spot. When you hit play, step back and watch as your spaceship flies away. Let's clean up by getting rid of our pieces down at the bottom. Once again, we bring out a cool little delete object. Remember, we made three objects, so we're going to right click and duplicate that delete and duplicate that delete. And when you've got your three deletes, you're simply going to drop the body, the engine, and the light in your project. When you hit play, boom, your spaceship draws, deletes, and they go away. If you want to make it a little cooler, do your delete object right after the group. So notice I just broke those apart and moved them. And this way, the parts we built with will disappear before the ship flies away. Friends, when you've got yours working, it's time to do a screenshot. I'm going to have you reset it to one for a moment. And when you hit play, it'll be at a better height for a screenshot. Zoom in, get so you can see it, hit share, and then collect the screenshot of your project. I'm going to always save mine to my downloads folder. Yours will probably save automatically. And then you can turn that into Google Classroom. Friends, if you're looking for a challenge, you could also add a scale inside this so that it got smaller or larger each time it moved so it actually looked like it was coming at you. There's lots of room for you to play. You could even make a second spaceship as long as you make sure you delete the objects after they've all drawn. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.